All right, what's up everybody? I'm Andrew Fredette, back with another video. So in this one, I know it's been a minute, but as promised in my last video, we finally have some personal pickups. I have about 10 to show you guys today, believe it or not, that's not all of them. I'm letting one of my homies borrow some of them for a photo shoot, but like I said, we still got a decent amount today to show you guys. I'm gonna try to run through them as quick as possible. Sorry, I've just been busy trying to make more videos, but if you do follow me on Instagram, as I suggest you should, been working on some hoodies, more info on that soon but other announcement truckers are restocking probably the same day this video drops so friday the 6th if you haven't got a hat go get one probably the last time i'm gonna make them so be on that restock if you want one 4 p.m all right so these first four t-shirts are all uh t-shirts i actually got off my friends so first one bistroy as you can see on the front courtney killed kurt um kurt cobain obviously supposedly shot himself in the face with a shotgun, committed suicide. Some people don't believe that story to be true. Thus, this shirt was made. I believe it did come distressed. I got this shirt off my homie Jalen. I think he did add some additional distressing to it. It's a double XL, so it's super big, but the look of this t-shirt's crazy. Super like dirty, worn in, like all that grungy stuff. So happy to have this in the collection. All right, so these next two t-shirts I got from the number one, I would say, Neverland Supply customer phoenix um so these are from his brand vizen uh yeah they're both one of one like custom screen prints that he did himself this one with the black and the green over each other this one with like the faces upside down vizen uh yeah really cool t-shirts uh, i've worn this one a couple times this one's a medium it's a little too small for me but he gave these to me to sell on the neverland supply instagram so follow there they'll be up soon i'm not sure exactly when but one of ones, get them while you can. All right, last t-shirt I got off my homie Poop. Um, it's a vintage Rolling Stones t-shirt, 1989. Uh, I was born in 98, but yeah. Anyways, much older than myself. Just love the colors on it. It's a very boxy, like cropped look on me. So I got this in preparation for the summertime. It's a lightweight material too. Uh, just love the graphic. And it was actually misprint. So if you look right here, hopefully I can get that on camera. But if you fold the bottom up right there, it has like the rest of the print, they messed it up. So very unique, uh, basically another one of one probably t-shirt. All right, so I actually have one more pickup from the homies, uh, John and Luke over at Unwanted. We got their new shorts, the black version, these just came out, Strawberry Mansion on both sides, ridiculously comfortable shorts, highly recommend them. I wear a small, um, gonna wear these all the time in the summer, so unwanted okay so now we'll get into the pickups that i didn't get off my friends i got from like random people off the internet so first one being this trucker jacket has really nice white contrast stitching that's why i originally got it uh it's comme des garçons but I, what i didn't realize is that it's actually from 1993 so it's five years older than myself and if you can't tell on camera it's probably hard to tell um that's why i couldn't tell in the pictures but the sleeves are actually different material i really don't know what it is but it's much more slick than the front part or the the whole chest part is denim like this whole vest is denim basically and then the sleeves are like a more slick like satiny feeling uh still like thick and it just i don't know makes it more comfortable i feel like if you wear this over a hoodie they have a little bit more give to denim so love this jacket super old amazing condition glad i found it next pickup actually another comme des garçons uh trucker jacket this one bit different though obviously it's white but it's also like the junior levi's collab and then also the 10 corso comb um i'm not exactly sure what that uh label is but it's just another like one of cdg's um sections or whatever you want to call it but basically i thought it was just a white denim jacket um levi's collab whatever so you know i knew it would be good quality a nice fit but they do have, if you can tell, the like 10 Corso comb uh, design logo thing printed across the back and the sleeves, white on white, so it's hard to tell. But again, like this jacket with the sleeves, just a really super clean jacket with cool like details that are only really noticeable like up close. All right, just had two denim jackets. Now we have two hoodies. First one I actually got off a subscriber. Shout out to you, dude. I think your name was Jonathan. I'll put your at right there. So right here, we have an undercover hoodie. 
Uh, this is like a small parts collection hoodie. So everything zips apart. I showed a denim jacket um, like this before. The hood zips off, like the whole chest and the sleeves, everything zips apart. The difference is this one uh, was a remake. The original small parts collection was like 99, 2000, I believe. Um, this is a, a reproduction of the undercoverist. If you can see the tag, they kind of spelled it differently. I don't know, it's a thing they did, I believe around like 2010 uh, and just, you know, remade old stuff after it had been like a decade. Um, but yeah, as you can see, maybe right there, it has a little small parts tag. Anyways, on the front, it says Son of Frankenstein, watch out in this really clean print Sort of weird, I guess, but really cool drawstrings. I mean, the color is weird itself, the zippers are weird itself, so the, the print kind of goes along with the whole theme of the hoodie, which I don't know, I'm a fan of. I actually ended up trading my old Mastermind hat that I used to wear all the time uh, for this. Uh, some of you guys may or may not think that's a good deal, I don't know. But I told them, uh, if you ever wanna get rid of the hat, bro, let me know, I'll buy it back. But first hoodie, we'll get into the next one. It's actually another undercover one, so there you go. All right, last hoodie, undercover, double tabs, collab. Um, I believe this was around 2000 as well. It says unarmored council on the back. The thing I really just like about this hoodie is the fit. It's super like crop, but then the sleeves still fit me, wide body, um, and then it is reversible. On the other side, it just has this embroidered like undercover logo that's supposed to be a U and then a C and then the line under it. Um, so yeah, it has that right there and then also on the hood right there and the other side is like a thermal material. So two hoodies in one basically, like I said, really cool fit, um, just a nice clean black hoodie. I sold my other like undercover hoodie, if you remember the lightning bolt crossbones chaotic discord one to Phoenix. So had to have another undercover black hoodie on backup. All right, so we saved some of my favorites for last. This right here is a steal off of Grail. Got this for like $20. A full flight suit, uh, apparently from Vietnam era, just zippers, cargo pockets. I mean, $20, come on. It's a little too snug for me, like I'm a little too tall for it, um, but I mainly bought it to wear it just as pants um, and just like tie the, the rest around my waist. I got this like a month or two ago, only worn it like once or twice, but uh, unfortunately it's getting a little bit warmer. Anyways, super dope piece. Um, if you're looking for one, like I said, I got mine off grilled for a stupid price, so check it out. All right, so now we're gonna get into the last pickup, probably the most hyped, uh, but these are actually another thing I got from Phoenix. I traded him some clothes for these as well. So there you go, the Australia exclusive um, Revenge Storms. So he got these for me while he was down there. So thank you, shout out to Phoenix for that. Um, yeah, I got a size nine, fits me fine. Uh, I wear a nine and a half in bands for reference. Um, probably you guys are gonna ask about quality. Quality is solid, like the construction. I think they could have maybe added like a little more, bit more padding on the sides, but very comfortable shoe. I guess I'd maybe pay retail for a colorway like this, but I definitely wouldn't pay resale. And Ian's probably dropping plenty of colorways, so I just wait to get one for retail if you are trying to get a pair of Storms. That's my two cents on it. So there you go. Probably one of the very few people to have these in the States. So happy at that. And that's the last pickup. So hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for hitting the camera. But be sure to leave this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. It really does help me if you drop a like. Yeah, more stuff to come. Hat Reedstock on the 6th. Don't forget. Social media in the description. And as always, don't forget everything you see behind me is for sale. Just check out the links in the description. And hope you guys have a nice day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.